welcome back to Kagan Tech and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get the letterbox effect in Final Cut Pro 10 basically the black cinematic bars that you get at the top and at the bottom of your videos that's what you call the letterbox it's pretty easy all you have to do is come to the effects rack on the right side type in letterbox in the search bar and drag the letterbox and drop it onto the clip or the clips that you want to letterbox and uh, essentially you just have to come to the video effects rack on the top right corner where you can adjust the aspect ratio uh, i think the most common one is 2.35 that's the standard yeah it works for most things and uh, if your video is cropping a little bit like you can see in this video it was cropping off the head of my subjects you could just adjust it with the uh, offset slider you would also notice in this video that letterboxing isn't for every video like me personally i don't letterbox my videos and if you're going to be letterboxing your videos you need to shoot with letterboxing in mind like for example if you watch this video you notice that the b-roll bits were cropping off and they weren't really looking that good at least not as good as it looked in the original video which basically brings me to my next point if you're going to be letterboxing in post you're probably going to want to be shooting a little wider like some more depth some some wide angle lenses maybe because i mean if you're zoomed in really close letterboxing is going to look really weird on your b-roll uh yeah i suppose that's basically just it letterboxing is a great way to make your footage look more cinematic but if you overdo it then it just makes your footage look weird again all you have to do is come to the effects rack on the side type in letterbox drag it and drop it on top of whatever clips you're trying to letterbox and that would be it today it's been kagan thank you so much for watching this video and do leave a like if you love the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to see more awesome tutorials like this uh leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions or any other tutorial videos you'd like for me to make uh see you on my next video that should be coming tomorrow